Ooh, I guess not. Oh! Okay, I see myself here. Looks like I'm back on. Okay, we're back online. Okay, sorry about that. Um, technical difficulties and all. Right, so getting back to Skyrim with mods. Gonna be lovely. Gonna be showing off the Live Another Life mod, which lets you skip the Helgen tutorial and pick from a great selection of alternate starts. You could already start off as you know owning a house or being right in front of a guild hall, ready to join, and really cool stuff. So already started mine. Like I was playing with a character that started in an orc stronghold. He was an orc, and before the stream cut out, um, he'd gone through this like little kind of you, a little through um little bit of quest where you talk to innkeepers to get the information about Helgen. So before what we did was you talk to an innkeeper at any point and they say, um, whoa, what the nuts. Someone just shot through those trees. I think. Or my eyes are going screwy. Okay, anyhow, um, So yeah, so um, after you talk to an innkeeper, they instruct you to go um, to Kynes Grove and ask about this character named Sam, and then the innkeeper will tell you that Sam is is somewhere. Right now, he's way the over here in your solitude. He's got to go all the way to the Windhelm stables. Oh, I love Skarm in the winter. From the comfort of my living room. <laughs> ah. Spend more money to take the carriage ride, get all the way to. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I hope that guy does not leave. He might. I don't know if he. Travels quiet because I. Hmm. Cause before when I did it earlier, he was in the um, the inn in um. In Kynes Grove, but I guess he might travel a bit. Oh yeah, I'm working on a new scripted video. Well, I've been working on it for a little bit now, so that should be going live this weekend. Okay, so he's down here by the docks. I'm about to find Sam, and then he tells us about Helgen. You can also um, cut out all this bit and just go with Helgen, and the quest will progress as though he did all that earlier stuff. Um, just showing the bits here. And I, and I showed up in the previous part of the stream that was a bit buggy. Um, one of the starts I picked for a different character was starting off in uh, Wait, what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I guess he does travel. Which is lovely. All right. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can meet him halfway. An outsider. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Well, looks like the stream is a bit, still a bit, choppy. Hmm. Have a bad connection tonight. Oh, well, you know, these sort of things happen. Okay. So yeah, I guess the guy does travel. Which is 
fun. Um, I've not discovered that location yet. And there's a whole lot of nothing in between here. So, okay. Um, so, yeah, let's travel. Fun to travel. And you talk to him, and it, it gives you, like, the dialogue tree where you have to get the information from him. But, again, you can just go to Hulkin yourself and do it. Um, just want to show this bit. But, yeah, still fun time to travel in Skyrim. A number of lovely mods active. Yeah. Guess tonight's been a rough night. <laughs> ah. You get to uncover locations. Fast traveling for fun. Ooh, what's going on over here? Oh, it's the Vignance of Stendar. Hey. Oh, silver ring. Nifty. The Guys. The Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Our characters, you know, heavy Stendar's armor specialists, so having that for the vigil has um what's it called smithing skill really helps. Well, later on. Yes. Because early on in the game you should focus on your defense and combat skills rather than the crafting ones. Save those for later. And and arm and smithing is you know a skill that kind of the ceiling you reach it fast ish, but it doesn't really have a great return on investment. And if you do it and if you well, you know waste your skill points early on on that, you're gonna be hurting when he fights when you fight higher level enemies. Oh look there the Khajiit caravan. Hey. Is ready for any troublemakers. I'm sure you are. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I was listening to the radio the other day, and well, no, the today it was radio today, and was, you know, on my way home, and it was commercial, 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 one song, then commercials again. Rubbish. Remind me why I don't listen to the radio anymore. all the way over there because I want to. And it's going to be fun. Is that Ice Wolf? Some other stuff over there, too. Oh, he's going after a deer. I put on my helmet too. Oh, I think he's one of the Greetings, brother. drug addicts. Weary. I have something to help you relax. Huh. If you're interested. Well, not really, but... Hmm. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Each has their own way. Could kill and take a stuff, but not into it. Did that earlier with another... In the same file, I found another Argonian... Um... Drug peddler near Falkree. Okay, let's see. Oh! Saw the red dot. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Ice Wolf. Tougher than the other ones. Critical strike. Yay. Okay.
I don't know, this the I, I was kind of this is a weird parallel in my mind, but I mean it kind of makes sense. But so you have your wolves, normal wolves, black wolves, you know, blackish gray wolves, and then you have um oh ho. Oh. Yeah. And you have the ice wolves. It reminds me in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask how the Wolfos, I think, yeah, Wolfos. You have the gray ones that are, you know, standard. You see them all the time. And then you have the specialty um, white Wolfos. Though in that game, they are pretty much the same health-wise. Well, they both share the um, one-hit one hit KO weakness. Okay, let's see if I'm getting closer to Sam. Oh, yeah, he's on his way. He's, okay, meeting him halfway. I was lucky when I when I did that quest um, off screen a while ago, and he was just right there in the Kynes Grove Inn. I was like, "Oh, hey, Nightgale Inn discovered." I think that's a inn that's part of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. This game, I think. Yeah, because I was reading some stuff about, you know, Ocarina of Time. Love that game. Love reading bits about it. There's just so much to discover about it. And seeing, you know, reading what fans have to say, how they describe bits. Because it's just, it's just so many fantastic memories in that game. Which is why I'm a big, big fan of Legend of Zelda Music Mod, which has been active in a lot of my streams for Skyrim lately. See the red dot? Oh, hey, who are you? What's your problem? Who? What's up these Argonians getting all of my business? Oh, okay, that was... Orcish sword gonna sell that noise. Okay. Ooh, gold ingot. Mine. He doesn't have, like, a note or anything. Oh, well, it might be from one of the mods I have. I'm not entirely sure, but... I have noticed that, you know, playing around, sometimes like, when I'm just kind of on the roads, I'll see just a NPC that's named whatever race it, he or she is just come after me. It's I'm not sure if that's in the vanilla game or if it's part of some mod, and I just haven't noticed which one it is. Yeah. Okay, I'm still in your helmet. Okay. Alright. Cool. We'll still have a little healing's convenient. Which one I don't want to use my potions. Solitude, okay. I'm making good time. Good time. Oh, snap. Not this. Ah, oh, hell on toast. I hate these things so much. At least they're a smaller kind. Break off. Ugh. Nasty, horrible things. Ugh. Hate, hate, hate spiders. Interestingly, spiders that never bothered me were the skulls. God, I always forget to pronounce this. Um, squalchulas, um, from you know, Legend of Zelda series. Well, particularly the ones in Ocarina of Time and Joe's Mask, because uh, to me they were just off enough. To not really resonate with me that they were spiral. I, I could tell they were spires, but they weren't. Uh, I just want to just want to get your location. Okay, there we go. Don't want to mess with that now. I'm gonna cook. I'm not feeling. It. Oh, I think the 
House of Sten- uh, Hall of Stendars here. Am I close? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, you're following me after me. You know what? You brought this on yourselves, then. Actually, you know what? Let me get a bit of boost. That one's an outlaw. Ooh. And a thug. Just walking by. Freaking highwaymen. Boom. No. Not like this. I like to hit them when they're down. So I wait for them to get back up. And then I knock them back down. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm twisted. And the grand scheme of things with Skyrim. It's not the worst. The great potion I have is so much to... with dragon's tongue and flying something or other. It's a mushroom. Uh, make great potions that fortify two-handed as well as provide fire resistance. Oh, she fell off. Oh, outlaw. I'm back here. Oh, applesauce. Boom! Out of my face. Who silver and got? Okay, cool. Now that's out of the way. Back to finding Sam. Okay, he's over here. So I go north a bit. Good place to get an auto save. I should probably check out the um Hall of Stendar because once you get to level ten, um, it's burned to the ground because of the vampires. I mean, it's really a very basic building. The interiors um sent like the same as your standard inn, but with a, ba but with a basement. Because a lot of inns might have basements too. Yeah. The mercy of Stendhal. Yeah, it's just same interiors and end. The suffering the day cause will not go unpunished. I am the keeper of the vigil here in Skyrim. We bring Stendhal's yeah. mercy to the innocent and his justice to the Daedra. So you can train you in restoration. The mercy of Stendhal. Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendhal will cast them into the light. And this is pretty much a hall of broken records. All right, took care of that. Why not take care of it? I'm just kind of talked him up a bit. Okay. Because, you know, it's fun to visit, because, you know, it's going to be smoldering ash once you... If you have the Dawn Guard a DLC, though, it becomes smoldering ash. God, I hate vampires. Oh, wait, where's... What? Sammy. Okay. Going north. Alright, then. You'll find the trail, too. Uh, no trail. Okay, that's end the trail. So we'll intersect it and bit past this uh, giant's camp. Oh wait, no, no, no! Don't! I just want to take a look. Oh, oh, wait, what? They're fighting. Oh, they're fighting bandits. Ah, stupid bandits. Now, my, my policy is if I don't have to fight the giants, I don't. I'll only fight them if a quest makes me. 
Because they're generally peaceful creatures. Yep. They're down out. Alright. I know the giants have a lot of treasures too, but considering we have to go through to take them down, it's, uh, it's not really that that worth it, so I just pass by them. And there's a wolf. There's another wolf. And this is my sword. <laughs> Getting a lot of wolves carrying jewelry. Alright, so... Should be right up ahead at some point. Oh, well, there's an Imperial camp along the way. Oh, hello, Ryu. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Hey, I came from an orc stronghold. The strongholds keep to the for an outsider like you to be accepted. An orc would have to make you blood kin and send word to the chiefs. That's right. I could fire off, but eh. Fuff enough people. No, I'm an orc, so it would make sense for the character. Hmm. Nah, whatever. I deal with drug addicts and bandits and lots of wolves. I was saying the wolves aren't bad. The only thing that's bad is the chance of the um, chance of you catching a disease when they strike you. That's bad. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's easy to cure. It's just a ugh, such an inconvenience. Do, 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 do. All right. Good traveling music. Oh, and there's someone else up ahead. Oh yeah, the Imperial camp is right near her. Oh, and a Stormcloak camp. Huh. Here we go. Good place to sell items and smith things. They have a smith in each of these camps. Fantastically convenient. If you're carrying a bunch of armor, you need to sell off. I don't... I don't see a tanning rack. Unfortunately. Legion's always looking for strong, typical Can sell off some other stuff. Okay. Take a look. Yeah. Give you some of this and some of that. Give you one of those. That. And oh yeah, some of the ingots. Give you that silver. Don't know if I need the gold for anything, but might need it for something later. Might make some jewelry. I don't know. Anyhow, let's keep going. To find Sam. Who is Oh, he's right over yonder. Fantastic. Oh, some hunters over there. Or bandits. Yeah, they... S I, don't, I don't know if that's happening. Oh, oh, some red dot. Oh, no. Get attacked by spiders. It's a tough horse. Who might you happen to be? Oh, it's a peddler. What do you have to sell? Take a look. And, oh, some alchemy ingredients. Let's see what you have. Ooh, Canis Root. Fantastic for um, paralysis potions. Gotta get some of that. And some lockpicks. I think that's all I need for now. All right, then. 
Pleasure doing business with you, business with you. and also saving you from spiders. Right, spiders. Yeah, okay, so Serious Sam should be not Serious Sam. Oh, uh, different Sam. Suspicious Sam. That's Sam. Finally, in your dark brotherhood, hood. I just might have something to interest you then, provided you can afford my fee. Information isn't cheap. Again, you can skip all this and just go to Helgen and start the quest from there. 1,000 septa- oh, frig that. Sure, whatever. Money comes and money goes. Though more often than not, it comes. So. <laughs> ha. Ask about the Operation Dark Water Crossing. Yeah. Does it go back south again? I wasn't. Oh, I should have been reading his dialogue. Right? Ulfric, leader of the rebellion. I don't know anything more, but folks living in Darkwater Crossing must know. Oh yeah, because they said um. In the beginning of the vanilla game, um, Ulfric gets captured by the Stormcloaks around Darkwater Water Crossing, and then he gets on that wagon with a player character, and you're off to the races. Ooh, money corpse. Okay, so now I have to go all the way to Darkwater Crossing, in here, okay. Warp to Kynes Grove. And at Darkwater Crossing we go. Which is also the place where you meet, um... The charming, uh, yet totally inept, uh, Darkethus, the Argonian, who you can choose to save from Falmer. That's a fun quest. He's a good follower. In the vanilla game, he's glitched into being, um, unkillable. If you, um, If you um add him as a follower, he also he's also um, available to marry as well. One of three Argonians you can marry in the vanilla game. Don't know the streams cutting it now. I'm seeing how my other monitor here, and it's acting a bit buzzy. It's doing the circle spin. The spider cave. Rig that noise. Good force crawling music. <laughs> Mixed water mill. And I'm getting close. Oh, they're escorting a, escorting a prisoner? Looks like it. Hey! Hey! Okay. Yeah, the trails up here get kind of twisty and turny. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Here's another fort. Ooh. Mage fort. Keep that in mind. Hope it doesn't. Hope it respawns because I love fighting mage forts. Love them. I I used to, I, don't, I used to just check the map for and an oblivion for uh, necromancer and conjurer dungeons and just go through them. Very relaxing. Dark water crossings up ahead. As is an enemy. Ugh, one of you. Frig off. Ugh, hate those. Oh, and who might you be? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. Okay. In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks, Juan. Alright, let's get going. Not to the shrine, but to the Dark Water Cross. Ah. Guys watching at home, let me know if you can see the stream all right. And we're here. All right, so you're here. You need to talk to one of the folks in the town about this. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, you can. The, your uh, your information is a little out of date. General Talius just left not too long ago. His group uh, captured a number of rebel soldiers. They were overheard talking about taking them all to Heligan. Alright, so we're off to Heligan. Nobody has any idea why they'd go there, though Helgen hardly has a frizz up blah, blah, blah. I'd better get going. Thanks. Alright. And yeah, because it's a pain in the butt to truck all the way over there, let's just go to the fast travel bit. Cause those mountains between um um East March and the Rift are pretty annoying. Okay. Good time of day to spot a dragon. I love playing with the lighting mods. Those are very fun. Still some more in you try out though. I mean, just look. Look at all that. I play this game so much on streams because I love it so much. And the mods just like just just escalate the Longevity so much, it's amazing. I do need to get some other games too. I do a big list. And some other definitely need a stream. Alright. There's Helgen. Always want to make a another Link themed character for this. Like, I started one in Skyrim on Xbox, but didn't go far, really. Had one in Oblivion, and that was kind of a mess. Oh, hey! Dragon! The dragon flies off. 
You completed Unbound. And here's Helgen. Burned to a crisp. Yeah. Yay! Village music. And all the all the rubble. There's one burnt corpse. Oh, his body disappeared when I took his journal. Crazy. All right. I will read the journal. In the inventory. Check it. Okay. Oop. All right. Twelfth of last seed. Four e two zero one. All right. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of a... Oh, I never realized how much a Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll be sending the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we discovered. 14th of last seed, 4E201. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now. Wait. Probably four. The first time since High King Torag was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. 15th of last seed, E... no, 4E, 201. So much for being discreet, I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has, fill, has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone. Someone very important. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am woo, seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. 16th of last seed, 4E201. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A, a, a patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they are taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart, uh, being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. Oops. Okay. 17th of last seed, 4E201. Shore of bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush the, the ambush the captives in the cart with me. Stormcloak, Stormcloak, Stormcloak rebels. Led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There is no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon, a big black as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped down, in out, it swooped in out of, it swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Talius didn't take my head today, or the storm cloaks of several, or the heads of, or the heads of several storm cloak rebels, but that didn't doesn't stop the matter now. Hodvir and Hodvar, Hadvar, Hodvar and Roloff uh, set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They're gone back, like they've gone back into the keep, help the other survivors while I've been asked to get warning to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon straight out of legends. Nobody back home will believe me. So yeah, we get to pick up where he left off. So that's 
So again, it goes through the bits of, um, you know, leading up to, you know, the start of the game, the vanilla game, where Ulfric gets captured by the Stormcloaks, and you're and you're in the cart, and it just puts someone else in that cart instead of you, who's writing down a journal, and then you kind of hear about it, and follow him. So we need to investigate the keep, or yeah, investigate the cave mentioned in the journal. And warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. Yeah, okay. Creaky chair. I also have a really creaky desk. Don't know if you heard it so far in like my previous streams or not, but if I roll out my, my keyboard tray, it's ugh. It needs some oil. So here's a cave that takes us to Helgen Keep. Ominous loading smoke. So they're doing the tutorial in reverse, it seems. When I was the same old junk. Oh, it's hot of art. Oh, you need to warn Wolverwood. Quit messing around and get... Alright. No, you ha you don't understand. Oh, to oblivion with it. You're here. I need help. I need... Uh, yeah, potion. Okay, uh, so long as the dragon isn't solid there. No, it's gone. For now. Yes, have one. Excellent. I'll take whatever you have to offer. I'll give you one. Thanks. That's much better. Look out. Oh, that was so close. I don't see roll off here. We get here. Okay, cool. We got injured by something. Okay, now we get out. Now we can get to go through the whole thing in reverse. Oh, that wasn't fun. No again, kind of you know unnecessary. Yay! Okay. I think there's a cave in when you go through that dungeon up ahead. I don't know how that would have been. How that's translated. Good check. I'll check later. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Cool. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you. Hey, so there he, all right. To Riverwood. Oh, dwarven spears. Those are menace. Hope the stream is okay for everyone. It's probably best if we split up. Whoa! How'd you get here? I Whoa, have made what the heck? Your help Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Did I see you talking to Sven? I just got no. here. Never mind. What? I would stay away from what him. Look, things are Hello. starting as they were. As big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right Ooh. over the barrel. Are you on leave from dragons now? Sure. Is it? Please, Bo. What if happened you to you? Boy? Like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. Are you in uncle, some please. kind of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Oh, okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Not sure if there's a default for who you find in the cave. It doesn't matter, it just... You talk to someone, you get a st you get stuff, and then you leave and go to white, white run. Whatever oh. you need, 
My smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. I don't know what's going. Go on, go on, go on. Just need to check the quest progression. Alright. Happy forest music. Sacred company. Ah. We've been so worried about you. Yeah. You two okay. must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Hellion when we were attacked by a dragon. Really lucky that I found these steel gauntlets dragon. that give me boost to two hands. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Husband? Not much more to tell. Okay. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. Not that it's weird that she's calling that she's not that not that, not, not that it's weird that her husband and wife. It's just I weird that she's calling him husband. My friend here. I need to get back to uh -uh. solitude. Feels weird to me though. What's happened? Ugh. I thought you could help us out. Food, oh, no. supplies, a place to stay. Well, that's been a weird night. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. Yeah. We need your help. Yeah. Felt a tunic? No, no, I don't need any of that. Lockpicks? Ooh! Actually, I actually do want that. And the potions. Okay, that's good. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hadvar, did you really see a dragon? What did So yeah, that's how the Star Level Life quest gets you back on the path of the main game's main quest. Look well, so yeah, that's how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I know I had really bizarre technical difficulties tonight. Uh, thank you so much for bearing with me. And for those watching on YouTube, um, thank you for watching. And just thank you everyone for watching. I, I love doing these streams, and I'll be doing some more soon, of course. Um... You, you know, watch my other streams that I've done so far and posted it on my YouTube channel, Gaming Genji, on YouTube. And you can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at Gaming Genji for updates on new videos, more live streams, and all that sorts. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.